We're up here at uh, the Mount Murray Hotel. We're here at the big meeting, of course, about the Manx Grand Prix. Uh, with me, the chairman, Harvey. Uh, it's going to be quite an interesting meeting tonight because obviously there's a lot of passion, I can feel it already, a lot of anger, dare I say, from a lot of people here about the proposed changes. Yeah, I, I think this is a, a, an extremely important meeting um, because we've had government's proposals put to us. We've gone back with a set of revised proposals which we felt provided them the opportunity of meeting all of their objectives but without hammering the existing programme. Um, that does seem to have fallen on deaf ears and they seem now the impression is that they wanted to drive through their changes irrespective. There have been so many people who have been saying to us, well, we don't know what's going on. Um, we were asked to treat the whole issue confidentially until uh, the whole thing came out in the open uh, last Tuesday morning, I think it was, with a press release. It was time for issue at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, since then, of course, we've had many of our members and many of those people who support the Manx Grand Prix saying to us, you know, we didn't know, why didn't you tell us? So this is our chance to explain to them what's going on and to get their views and it's our intention to present both the department's view and our own view on the way forward. We appreciate that in these strapped for cash times that um, the event has to start to generate money. On government's figures we appear to be in a loss scenario although you can play around with various figures as perhaps you'll see later on that might produce slightly different situations, but, um, but the issue really is all about money initially, um, although we're mightily puzzled because much of government's proposals actually involve the expenditure of potentially a lot more money, because they're talking about paying riders to come here, they're talking about doing away with entry fees, uh, and all of that is going to uh, reduce um, it's going to add cost to the event and, and reduce its viability and we think there's an enormous gamble. We've lost 50% of our classic entries since 2005. 50% and you know, the, the classic despite best efforts seems to be in terminal decline and yet they're saying that this is the magic cure that to, to go totally classic, to pay people to ride exotic machinery but exotic machinery is very very expensive to run around the Isle of Man course and I think they're getting confused they've seen the Goodwood Festival of Speed and think that they can do it on the mountain it's a different ball game altogether can I say how it looks from our point of view that uh, Colin Knifton has been talking to the media now for months sure. and, I, and I've, no. I've said this and, and yet we've drip, heard drip feeding but, things. but we've never heard from your end as a, as a sort of, I kept expecting and I've said yeah, it before, where's the response and yeah. it therefore was assumed I suppose by a lot of us that you were going along with everything yeah. and, and now it almost seems like at the 11th hour and the 59th minute Absolutely. you're suddenly trying to put yeah. the brakes on this thing which seems to be almost a done deal by now. Well, yeah, I, I, I think that will be very much the perception of, of many, many people. Uh, but we think we've, we've acted totally honourably in this, in that they asked us to treat the whole thing confidentially, and that's exactly what we've done. The only people who knew about these proposals was the committee of this club, and this committee has remained completely watertight until that press release last week. Um, yeah, it has been very disturbing, though, during that period, to see the various drip-feeding of things via the media uh, and, and articles in things like motorcycle news and, and inaccurate statements made by people in KPMG and all, all sorts of other things have been going on that have been not, not really very helpful, let's put it that way.